Now, China has been in the news a lot recently because of the outbreak of the coronavirus in Wuhan uh, province. All the controversy over the Chinese telecoms company Huawei being part of the 5G contract here. But those of us who followed Tibet, and I chair the all-party parliamentary group, uh, group for Tibet, uh, know that China has form when it comes to human rights and abiding by international uh, laws. On May the 17th, it will be 25 years since the abduction and disappearance of the 11th Panchen Lama of Tibet, Gendum uh, Choiki Niyama, who was the second highest spiritual leader within uh, Tibet, below the Dalai Lama himself. He and his family were abducted when he was just um, six by the Chinese authorities. On the 17th, he will be 31 years old. It's one of the oldest continuing cases of an enforced disappearance anywhere in the world. We have no record of where uh, he is, how he is, how his family uh, are, just assurances from the Chinese government that he is doing well. That is not good enough. The 11th Panchen Lama needs to be released, needs to be revealed to the world again, and needs to live in liberty as to all the people of Tibet. Since 1959, 61 years ago, with the invasion of Tibet by the Chinese um, government, more than a million Tibetans have lost their lives. They've lost their liberty and they see the daily suppression of their culture and their beliefs, their language and their way of life. This is an injustice that we need to stand up to, the world needs to stand up to, and at the very least, the Chinese need to release the 11th Panchen uh, Lama. And when we're out of this coronavirus crisis, there really does need to be a reckoning with China that needs to come back into the international fellowship of law and liberty and human rights, because at the moment, it's just not abiding by those rules. So we call on China, show willing, release the 11th Panchen uh, Lama and restore liberty to the people of Tibet and allow him to